Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you a few tricks here to streamline your social media. So, you feel like you're pretty good at social media, you want to make it easier and faster and more useful, this is the site for you. It is called If This Then That, or IFTTT. And here's the cool thing about this. IFTTT lets you create recipes. And um, so... Uh, maybe I should just show you my recipes to give you an example. Okay, so here's some recipes that I have. All right, let's go down here. So they're all if-then statements. So if your Facebook profile picture changes, then update your Twitter picture too. Okay, so if I update my profile picture, it'll automatically do them on both. If I post to Instagram, then it'll automatically post to my Twitter account. Okay. If I post to my Instagram, then it'll automatically post to my Facebook pages account. So you can see here, if I have an Instagram that I post, it automatically posts to Twitter and to Facebook. So one picture, one caption, and it puts it in all three places. But not, it's, I'm not done yet. If I take an Instagram picture, then it automatically saves it to my Google Drive in a specified folder. Okay? So when I take a picture and I say, like, check out these bucket fillers, and I post it, it goes to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and saves to my Google Drive. So at the end of the year, I've got an entire record of all of the pictures I posted to social media, and they are right there in one folder. Right, so I could use them for uh, a collage or something like that. Okay, now that's not the end of this. Okay, you can search for these. These are called recipes. You can search for these. Okay, and so let's just try one. So let's say you use Twitter, okay, and you want to do a recipe. So let's do Twitter and let's see what we can find. Okay, so here they are. Look at all these recipes they have. Okay, so if you see the recipe that you want, then you just click on it. Okay, so let's see. Save every tweet. There you go. Let's try that one. So if I tweet something, then it automatically saves that tweet to my Google Drive. So I can track all the tweets for that year. And I could just print them off, give them to Marcus, and, and say, hey, look at all of the social communicating I've been doing. Okay, so if I want to add that, I can click Add. Now this is cool too, it says Receive Notification When This Recipe Runs. If I click that, any time that this recipe works, okay, so I do a tweet, it saves to my Google Drive, it will send you a little notification saying that it worked. Okay, now when you add it, there you go, it says Recipe Created, and it adds it to your recipes. So there it is. Now, these buttons over here, these are if you want to turn the recipe on or off. So let's say you didn't want to use that right away, or you didn't want to, you know, to use it at all, or you wanted to maybe do it later. You can turn it on and turn it back off whenever you want. Right here, you can test the recipe. So if you want to make sure it's working without having to, you know, say, you know, do like a Twitter post that says testing... You can test it just by clicking here, and it will um, it'll test it for you. And if it's working, okay, let's say, oh, well, it's saying try again in 30 seconds. But anyway, it'll just say recipe is working, okay? Right here is if you want to do any uh, tweaking to this. You can see, like, it has my Twitter. It has my Google Drive account. If you want to do any uh, tweaking to the recipe or changing or editing, you can do that. And, yeah, and here's editing if you want to change it around. Like recipe title, save every tweet. You can change that, um, things like that. Okay? Now, it doesn't stop there. Really, there's endless possibilities. You could say, let's try like Google Drive. Okay? So look at this. If any time I have incoming receipts, they'll be added to a spreadsheet. You, I mean, there's ones on here that anytime you get an email from a certain person, it'll automatically add it to a spreadsheet in your Google Drive. So if you have a parent 
that's like bugging you <laughs> and you want to document how many times they've been you know, emailing you or whatever. Every time you get an email from a certain person, you can set it up to automatically make a spreadsheet, right? Upload any new iOS photos to Google Drive. So anytime you have a photo that you take, it automatically puts it into your Google Drive folder. And you even get to tell it what folder. So you can see how powerful this is. There's a million possibilities. Look at this. Log how much time you spend at home or work. It does it automatically, okay? Now, the cool thing, too, is IFTTT is web-based. So once you create these recipes, then if you have the app on your phone or your iPad or whatever, it automatically syncs. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, let me close this up, and let me get my iPad on the screen here. There is an IFTTT app, and it is free. And so you need to download it onto your device okay so here it is in this folder right here let me open it up and there it is if when I open that it kinda looks the same I can browse or if I click right there I can see my recipes there's the one I just created save every tweet okay it has all my other recipes on there too alright so really it's it's across all devices that this works but if you want the if you want Twitter every time you do a tweet it saves your Google Drive or whatever and you want that to work on your iPad or you're on your iPhone you need to download the app onto that device okay that is one thing you have to do okay so the best thing about this is you can make it fit your own style there's so many possibilities you just need to search for a recipe that will work for you okay one last thing I'll say about um, IFTTT that I really like. If you go down here, to like, let's take one of my uh, recipes here. Okay, so here's my recipes over here. You can see it says if there's any new photo, then post a tweet. Okay, now what I can do with this is you can customize it to the point of I only want you to save tweets that have the hashtag NCECSD to my drive. Or I only want Instagram photos um, that are taken at school or a certain location to go to my Facebook pages. You can get really, really, really specific with these recipes and you'll see when you make one, um, there are a lot of them that let you edit it to like what do you want it to say, what do you want it to do. Um, you can be very, very specific. So go ahead and play with this. It takes a little getting used to, but once you do and you get the hang of it, you are going to love it. And it is going to save you a ton of time um, posting to multiple uh, media accounts and things like that all at once. And you might just find some cool little recipe that will help you uh, manage your time too. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have questions.